Squad 1, Flores Command. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Command, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition set to 30%. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Hold on. We are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Boudouin. Go for landing. Engines off. Odd one has landed. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you're ready. Got my truck. Want snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines, and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job! Stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't owe me anything. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. Hmm. All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. <sighs> Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way.
make camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area's secure. All right, people, we got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Hey, no matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. Our weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jakob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ECA has confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here, build a cabin, grow old, and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. No my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, uh, he was too far gone. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> it's a two-for-one special, huh? So that's why you've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Granddad, sir. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Hey there, little guy. Hi, good boy. I stepped boy. on you. Let me think you got there. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. That last day got really hairy. 
I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way, and tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Captain Cuspert, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. What do you make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too, it... Maybe we won't. Sure. Maybe this is really it. Maybe. We can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. Mad. Huh? People don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Ooh, fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Think you could take on a tank? Now give that sidearm a try, eh? Nice. Haven't lost your touch. Showing off. Seen this dad. Hey. You're Shira, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now, if only we had an internet to post those two. It's 
for a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing is backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do, it's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, to? All right, tell me the truth. Do you think the ECA thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh... Sorry. He would have been in awe of this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. How is this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. And meanwhile, the Flora stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 that's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal, it's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly a priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try.
Nah, scared it off. But I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal, but something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. Hey, Cuthbert, any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob, mm. same shit, different planet. Ochevishtje. <laughs> Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Soldier, your primary focus is Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Oh, back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Hey, stay back. Tanner, got eyes on the probe. I got movement, heading in. ECA HQ, we've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it, Tanner! I told you, Bozo, not to go mess up this operation! It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me! Maxwell! Shit. Unit 2, stay at your position. We are heading your way. Prepare the bed tent in case we need to act fast. Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our stray probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? 
some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? But please collect samples. Captain, I got attacked by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy, I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that, Outrider. Now move your ass and find that probe. Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the drive, so get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, carrier frequency is nine seven point. Uh, Tanner, do you copy? Oh shit! Tanner, Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here.
We've got heavy casualties, possible contamination. I need quarantine set up at base. You copy? <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Oh. 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 Contaminated. We contain them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to. No! Contain this. Now. Burn the fucking bodies. your goddamn goon. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the floors. Your outriders are the ones who stirred up this threat, imperiled this mission. his way. Of the Outriders fucked everything up. He needs to die. Outrider, wait! Maxwell is the only one who can call up the landing. You need to get it to the region. Traitors, don't let them near! Thing. Call it in! Postpone the fucking landing! It's too late! Can you, can you help me with the wounded? We have to get them to metal. Over here! Come on, your asses! Almost there. They're gonna be fine. Here. Make it happen! What are you doing? 
I'm putting you back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Uh, Pep talks aren't really my thing. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. You, what year are you from? Year, what year? What? Is this your pod? Where were the uplink nodes? Come on, Doc. We need to go. They're coming. Wait, we can't just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. Find out! Your normal is coming. Let's see how fast you can run! The no man's land! Like the others! Survive. Survive what? Getting our asses fried by the big storm. Hey, I told you to shut the hell up. We're here. Come on. Go back. Go back. What the hell's happening? They've got an altar to tear your guys apart. You need to get out of here. But where? Storm's coming. You think the altar care about a storm? Shit, shit, shit. Take the back way through the bridge. We're not going to make it. That's impossible idea. Take cover. Off the captain of his soul, I got you! Watch out! No. Help it! Help! 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 Go, go, go! How long? How long has it been? What? This, this war? How fucking long? Who knows? Since before I was born! That's fucking impossible! Come on, open the goddamn gate! And move! Hold tight, almost there! Almost where? Where are you taking us? I'm not supposed to be... What the hell is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, I just... Well, let me catch you up real quick. That paradise you Outriders promised us, guess what we've got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food. Just kicked to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker. Bullshit! It wasn't like that. We lost electronics. We could have left you all to rot in your cryopods. But we did it. We saved you ungrateful. <laughs> How many times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> Welcome to the Valley of Death, asshole!
I need to get out of here. I just gotta get across this hellhole. Whatever the fuck's happening, I don't belong on this side. What in the... Oh, shit. Who the hell are you people? I guess it's shoot first, questions later! Whoa. Did I do that? How is this happening to me? Flares. This storm. I've seen this before. In the forest. When we landed. This can't be real. that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. 
Where'd you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's in the wrong side. Haltered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Shira? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. You got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on! I've just woken up to mud. And shit, I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine got fried. All our data. Wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine, so we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have- The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit, like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. What, and miss out on all this? Grand Marshal, we were too late. The Hound's have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yaku. Yaku? He's still alive? Not too much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am? Ma'am? Never mind. We've got it covered. Sergeants took everything I had left. Hey, Shira. I'm geared up and tracking down Yakub. Now, who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the ah, hell the PCA And believe me, no one's gonna them. miss them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Honestly? Because their black market keeps our soldiers happy. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents we're fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. It ain't fair. I'm looking for Jakob Dubrowski. Go away. Listen, 
an asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your... Ah! 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 What the hell is going on out there? Now where's Jakob?
Nice eyes. Hey! Whoa. Oh, sorry guys. I thought this was the bathroom. You okay? I had it under control. Been a while. Do I know you? <laughs> Kurva! Then I thought you were dead. You'll soon be dead if you don't get your ass to Shira's right now. Uh, Shira. All right. Come meet me there when you're ready. Shira, I got Jakob out in one piece. He's on his way to you. That old drunk just refuses to die. <laughs> well, you should come join us. We have some catching up to do. No, because he won't. Because he can do what the fuck he wants. Hey, never been so happy to see a familiar face. You haven't aged a day. And you got old, my friend. In the hallway, that was Seth. What was he doing here? Ignoring our pleas for help. I thought he was on your side. <laughs> Seth, he's not on anyone's side. The insurgents have altered their walking nightmares. We're lucky Seth shows up to fight them back sometimes, but only if it fits whatever the hell game he's playing. Hey, damn it. You have no idea how bad it is, Outrider. We thought we escaped the apocalypse. We thought we could start over again here. But we were wrong. I was wrong. Shira. Do you know why I'm in charge? Because I'm the only officer left alive. The insurgents at our door. They're feral, sadistic. They have us surrounded. We're low on food and bullets. And if those freaks don't kill us, this planet will! Welcome back. The black fungus in the forest. We never found a cure. The mountains are filled with abominations. And the anomaly storms get bigger every year. We don't have much time left. If we don't find a way out of this valley, if we don't find a miracle, this last shred of humanity is over. Shira! Well, would you look at that? I can do things now. I don't understand, but maybe there's a reason. Yes, you are. I guess I know why I saved your damn life all those years ago. I'm sure this isn't exactly what you had in mind. I'm not complaining. Still, I don't get it. The day we landed, that storm, it tore Cuthbert apart, but not me. Why? Why was I... Altered? Who the hell knows? When those storms hit, some get ripped inside out, some turn pink polka dot, and a few come back. Fucking immortal. Nothing about the anomaly makes sense. It disrupts the laws of nature. It mutates whatever it touches. Early on, the ECA's best scientists tried to understand the storms, to tame them. None survived. I guess you got lucky, boss. <laughs> or maybe not. All I care about is that you are on our side. Our only supply line is blocked by an altar that our weapons cannot touch. 
out by the old solar array. Seth had no interest in helping us, but now you're here. Hmm. Hell, why not? Maybe I can buy humanity another day. Lieutenant, what the hell was that? The whole front line just collapsed! Like an earthquake, all right? I, I, I think we lost our whole first line of defenses! On my way. Go, go, go! Hey, in case I don't get another chance, I, I tried to find you. But it all went to shit. We had to run for our lives. I just... Forget it. I'm alive. I should have been dead ten times over, if not for Tanner, if not for Shira. I'm the one with dues to pay now, Jakob. Boss! I missed you. It's good to have you back. Now go beat that altered ass for us. So we can get back in this goddamn fight. Be careful out there. It's bad. I'll see what I can do. But Shira, I still got about 30 years of questions to catch up on. So if you make it back in one piece, come and ask me. But I don't promise I'll have all the answers. Ain't nothing free. Approach, honorable one. The best selection in Rift Town can only be found at Mr. Chang. Come, see what wonders I have for sale. Another time, mister. I'm having one shitty day. Uh, bitter wind blows for us all. Come, how about a little hot tea? Mm. Not much of an inventory. Uh, don't mind all this crap, honored one. I keep all the good stuff. Should have paid, old man! <laughs> Think I care? He was about to show me the good stuff. He's just acting on orders. Whose orders? Barker! Uh, he runs the Hounds Gang. He's trying to take out all the vendors in Rift Town. It won't work for him! <sighs> Worst fucking day. What the hell happened? The insurgents dug underneath my troops, moved the whole goddamn front to hell. If you can't open the supply line, we're done for. How long do you think? Are your hands shaking? Grand Marsh has got us controlling. The Hound's hideout. Barker will be down here somewhere.
<laughs> Fuck off. You can't take her back. Who, the girl? This isn't a rescue, you Barker. Do I know you? Mr. Chang sends his regards. <laughs> oh, come on. I was right in the middle of my line. You were taking too long. I was planning it all the way here. Thanks for the rescue anyway. Again, really wasn't here for you. Did you say Mr. Chang is heal, right? Mm-mm. Fuckers. Like, it's not bad enough having insurgents trying to drag us all to hell. We gotta have these low-life gangsters on our streets picking us off from the inside. Yeah, I know the game. <clears throat> really hasn't changed a whole lot. Hey, you did a good thing. Got a bad guy off the street, and I'm walking home without a scratch. I'm Eva, by the way. Got a stall near Chang's place. You should all come see me there sometime. Well, well. I was hoping I'd see you around these parts again. Well, you just made a lousy day 2.5% better. Besides, with Mr. Chang gone, I still need a vendor. Well, anything you see, happy to give you a better discount.
Okay, boss. Do you see a big tower? That's where you need to get. The old solar tower. But it's a mess out there. Everything's upside down. Yeah, I noticed. Don't worry, I'm carving my way through it. You're too late. What happened here? What does it fucking look like? We got mutilated. We had the bastards cornered, but they had a captain. What's he look like, this captain? Scar down his face. Sadistic fuck. He forced half my squad to walk into an anomaly, and he enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I know the guy. A captain. Yeah, you know, the fuckers with powers who get put in charge. Not a real altered, not like we could notice a difference. Where is he? Inside the bunker up the hill. I wish I could look him in the eyes when you make him pay for what he did. I think I'll pay him a little visit. For old time's sake. Alter! Give that captain what's coming to him. Settle up with this attack. Hope he hasn't forgotten me.
Thought I'd have a harder time getting back through. Captain should be hauled up somewhere in here. You think you can fight me? Give me all you got. Wait! Stop! You're an altar. You can do whatever the fuck you want! Where the fuck are you fighting for those... those fascist assholes? We're the ones fighting for our lives! Do you even know? What they did to us. I know what you did to me. No. 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 <laughs> Outriders always pay what's owed. That soldier will want to see his head for herself. If anybody on this planet needed killing, it was that sadist. He paid. Not enough. You gonna be okay? You need a medic or something? You nuts. A medic round here will kill me faster than the shrapnel will. Don't worry about me. I'll live to fight another day. All <sighs> right. Hey! You did a good thing.
major deja vu in this place. Reminds me of that mission in Damascus, when we rescued those diplomats. I had to save your ass from that machete-wielding mob. Ha! Huh. More like that time I had to save your sorry ass from that redneck mob storming DC. Those missions felt like we were fighting for a reason. But this shithole, it's never been worth fighting for. So what's it all about for you then? Just trying to live another day. Boss, we're barely holding on. Sounds like I chose a good day to wake up then. seeing a lot of dead people. They look like they've been sautéed. Shit. Be careful. Jakob, I've reached the solar tower. I'm going in. What are you seeing in there? Some kind of weird electrical sparks flying everywhere. It means you're getting close. This altar, did I not mention? He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but this son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, so am I.
And so, Outrider, you've had your first kill. We also do not die so easily, do we? Seth. Come. We must speak. They asked you to help them. To fight the altar down there. Why didn't you? That pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. People are dying because of him. Without the supply route open... They all die. These feeble creatures. Slaughtering each other over scraps. You waste your gifts. Running errands for them. Trying to win their meaningless, endless war. You must realize... You are not like them anymore. So what? I should play at being a god like you? I... am not playing. But you... are something even more. Altered and Outrider. The last Outrider. Do what you were sent here for! Go! Beyond the frontier! These people need their gods. Only one like you could lead them to a future. Why not you? They call him Moloch. I fight another war far above this petty squalor. My war is with the worst of our kind. This one is too powerful. He will destroy us all unless I hunt him down. But this is not your fight. You are to be the shepherd. Find a way for them out of this slaughter. Outrider. Shira, it's done. Your supply line's open, I'm heading home. I can't believe it. Outrider, what you just did. I've lost a hundred men trying. Don't thank me yet. You still got a war to win. Not sure anyone's winning this goddamn war. But there's something even more important you might be able to do. Come see me in my bunker. I don't believe you. They do, Peck. Jakob? Shira? The signal in the forest. You remember it? Yeah. Like it was yesterday. You still have its frequency, don't you? You mean this frequency? Curve. You got the winning lotto numbers tattooed on your ass cheek, too? Still don't believe me? Ugh, I hate when you play the I told you so. That signal is still playing like a distant echo. It's digital, which means it must be coming from a place where there is no anomaly. The problem is, we've never been able to locate its source because we've never had the right frequency. Until you showed up. So now, listen close, you need to bring those precise numbers to Dr. Abraham Zahidi, one of our last scientists. Bullshit. 
He's been deep in enemy territory for weeks now. Five rations says Zahidi's dead. We don't know that. You. I've seen you before. It was in the med lab. You woke me out of cryo. Guess life's real funny that way. Meet Jane, sniper, first class. She almost died trying to save his life. She'll guide you. Wait, Shira. W when we landed, that signal was already playing. Do you have any idea who or what is sending it? Do yourself a favor. Don't ask that question. Whatever's out there, they don't want to be found. And whoever goes looking for that fucking signal ends up dead. But it's the only chance we've got. And if anyone can get there alive, it's all of you. Shira, come on. Jakob! I... That's in order. Sorry I left you to die in that med lab. Hey, no worries. Didn't really have a choice. <laughs> I'd have done the same. I'm not willing to write McCain off yet. He's one tough son of a bitch. I know you have a million questions, but I don't have time. You let me sleep in a few too many fucking years. I think you can find some time. How did it all begin? Why'd you start fighting? When the anomaly got bad, we had only just begun the colonization. There were still more than half a million frozen in cryo waiting for us to wake them. But we already knew we couldn't feed them all. So one faction argued to just pull the power and let them die in their sleep, preserve the resources we had. The others wanted to give them a chance to live. I can guess which side you were on. I was... I was wrong. We tried to be fair and to ration what we had. But it only led to bloodshed. Your enemy. What do they want? What do any of us want? To have enough. But there isn't. Enough food, enough water, anything. They won't settle until they have all we have. They want to destroy us. So I need to destroy them first. What am I now? Altered? Help me understand. What do you want to know? How many are there? There are lesser ones all over with small and strange mutations. But those with true power. Only a handful. Still more than I'm comfortable with. But the soldiers revere them as gods. The other altered out there. Who do they fight for? Whoever the fuck they want, you think anyone controls them? The ones who fight with us, they at least seem to have a reason for it. Some shred of humanity still. But on the other side, they're demonic, wrathful gods, machines of death. There's nothing human left. That won't happen to me. I pray that's true. This is insane. I watched you take this photo a few hours ago. That was a lifetime ago. That girl you met that day is long gone. That girl could never have survived. <laughs> take it. I don't need it anymore. You've been gone too long to understand how truly fucked we are. There can be more than 50 or 60,000 of us left, 
More on the other side than ours. Soon there'll be none of us left to fight. The insurgents' last assault was a... destruction. They were digging tunnels and planting charges right beneath us. They blew our front line all to hell. I noticed. The reports of casualties are uncountable. And one of my best men was out there, Lieutenant McCain. But a message just got through. And he's trapped under the rubble, still alive. I don't have any more men to spare. I need you to get him out. It's the least I can do. I want to hear the moment our search parties turn up anything if about this McCain. McCain is still alive, I need to find him. Beastie Boys on vinyl. <laughs> Even on Earth, these were hard to come by. How do you know about that? Uh, long story. You a collector? Someone gotta be. Everyone else is all too ready to forget. How did uh, all of this get here? Well, when we left Earth, all we all got was one box of our things. Now people got no interest all the junk we brought. But not me. This. It's our history. What we was, what we lost. My little museum of Earth. Always looking for donations. story. Thank you. Without memories of the past, the future means so little. If you come across anything else from old Earth, there's a home for it here. I'll keep an eye out. Remember to keep your eyes open for beautiful things to fill my shelves. Someone needs to rescue these artifacts before they're lost forever. They're saying the hounds got wiped out. Other vendors are the
Shira, I'm looking at the epicenter of the explosion. This is where the collapse started. I doubt McCain survived this. I don't need your doubts. I need him alive.
why did it just get so quiet? Hey, Shira, what am I looking at? Some kind of walking giant out here. Keep your voice down, Ryder. You don't want it to notice you, believe me. It can wipe out hundreds in a second. Even the altered respect them. Host is clear! Keep digging, we're almost out! together right now. I got you! Lieutenant McCain? You all right? I'm alive. Thank you, soldier. It's okay. Now, let's get the rest of my men out. Fuck, seriously? War is war. What, you think we just hug it? Why do I even bother? Captain Ryder's dead. Yeah, good riddance. Without memories of the past, the future means so little. If you come across anything else from old Earth, there's a home for it here. Hmm. I remember these. Used to be we thought we was keeping these for it. Generations to come could look at one of these, see our movies, our stories, how we lived and loved. Now, it all may as well never have existed.
So, Jakob, what do you think the signal is? Beats me. Just some fake hope bullshit for losers who can't accept the world has gone to shit. But I guess that's our goddamn mission now. So meet us at my garage when you're ready. I want to hear the moment our search parties turn up anything about McCain. I'm pretty busy right now. What do you need? Your lieutenant's dead. Tell me he died like a hero. <laughs> sure, if that's what you want to hear. He was a real fucking hero. Whatever he did, know that this is war, Outrider. All must be forgiven. Until we win. Are you so sure it's even worth winning anymore? What are you standing there for? Keep moving! Only the dead get the day off. What you see, is what you get. The Hound's bunker looks like a slaughterhouse. Some altar took them all out. I know, I'm part of the cleaning crew. Never been happier scrubbing brains off the walls. Good to see you again. What happened to everyone else? None of the other Outriders survived? Well, you had front row seats for the shit show that started it all. You know, most of us were dead that first day. The few dozen that were left, they did what we came here to do. They fucking explored. I mean, who do you think died trying to figure out we couldn't leave this fucking valley? Why are you the only Outrider alive? You think I was gonna explore this damn planet after what we saw? Fuck them. Let them have my badge. I didn't need to be an Outrider that bad anyway. And again, Dobrowski has outdone himself. Whoa. <laughs> You've managed to keep my truck working after all these years? Well, I had to strip the AI systems, bypass the graphene cells, cost me 20 bottles of vodka and parts, but now I'll be able to run on anything. Diesel, turpentine, even fucking potatoes, if we could grow potatoes. Still got tunes? 
Tunes. Hey, boss, we got no electronics. No tunes, no nothing. But somehow we make do. <laughs> 